Awesome. All right, hi everyone. My name is Joey V. Welcoming you back to another Lunatic Jedi production, and this is once again Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. We are here in the lower city of Taurus. Uh, we're in the Hidden Beck base, and we got to do some stuff to get off this damn planet. And once we get off this damn planet, we can become a Jedi. So to get hype, let's. All right, excellent. Um, last we. Uh, Let's see, let's check our journal, just so we can have everybody know what's up. Um, so we're looking for Bastila. Bastila. We're looking for Bastila. Um, and she is hit, She is hidden in the Volcar's base. So in order to do that, we need Mission Veo, who is the Twi'lek who speaks basic. Um, so once we meet up with her, she can apparently let us in. Alright, now this... Is this out? That's out. I don't want to go out just yet. I want to explore the base up a little bit. So, but yeah, we, 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 need, to, uh, we need to get into the base. Uh, can you... What? Get in there? Probably not. Sure. But uh but yeah, so we, we have a bunch of stuff that we gotta do. And let's see what where is my character at? I totally character's level three currently, so not too bad. Still pretty early on. It's a security door which I definitely can't get into. Control room. Can you get in? Sure. One. No way. On it. Damn. Yeah, sure. they're not gonna let me into any of these things. And I did all of that previously, so we're good. Evening, Akira. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping on by the stream. Greatly appreciate it. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on trucking on. Um, I have made a decision that once we become Jedi, I'm going to ignite, I'm going to ignite the lightsaber behind me, and it will be, it'll be like the eternal flame. It'll be on for as long as this, uh, as long as this playthrough goes on, because you know, you need a gimmick, right? Uh, yes. Bonus, put him in the back. Alright, here Fantastic. Uh, I'm. Yes, what's uh, in the Nothing. Nothing. You got it. Uh, Curious says, Happy to watch as always. How are you? I'm doing very well. Had a very good day at the day job. And uh, I'm a f uh, tomorrow I'm going into the office, but then after that I will start my work at home schedule. So I'll be so th so Thursday and Friday this week I'll be working from home, um, and then I will be going into the office once every two weeks. So I'm super excited about that. And to celebrate, I made myself uh, uh, chicken sausage and pasta, which is you know super stupid simple but pretty good. And uh, I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to have this right here, which is not your father's root beer. This is a beer mixed with various spices to make it taste like root beer. And it's fucking delicious. What is this? You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? That, that human sounded like Norm MacDonald. Ah, uh, you're, uh, you're a little late on your, uh, Davik payments, uh, think, uh, 
Think you just can't pay because you're late? <laughs> yeah, Kara, I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucking excited. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. I'm super excited about about being able to work from home. Gunderous. Is this who I think it is? Is this the Mandalorian? Ah, yes, Candorous is the Mandalorian. He eventually joins up to get party. That's pretty cool. He's like... He's like dark side, but like not really like... Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk. Yeah. Around. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of, and I'm not one for Shit. small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. All right, bye. Uh, well, do I want to go in the lower city apartments? I kind of do. Oh, that's sucky. Kara says not to take down the mood, but I found out that I have to get surgery in a few months to get rid of my gallbladder. Oh, that's awful. Why do you have to get rid of your gallbladder? There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Isn't that the point? Isn't it the point to do it over your dead, dead bodies? That's the plan. And bye. Damn it, Karth. God fucking. Uh, level up. Attributes. Yeah, let's go. Um. Dodge and plant level two. These are good things to have. Uh, Kira says, I have gallstones and I was in pain for two weeks. Went to emergency and they did an ultrasound the next day for getting me to go talk to the surgeon. Sometime in the next three to five months, I'll have a day surgery. On the other hand, I'm getting another week of work at my museum. Maybe a little. Oh, well, hey, you gotta look on the bright side, right? Uh, continue. Oh. 
Jeez, nicely done, Karth. Way to fucking do all the work for me. Uh, yeah, I want to kill this guy. Right, we fucked all these people up. Fuck them. Akira says, and I still have no idea about anything on Star Wars, so this is just a weird early Mass Effect to me. I mean, it really is kind of. I mean, you can easily just stop. You can easily just like look at all this and be like, yeah, this is just Mass Effect. Uh huh. That's okay. Oh, God damn it. Sure. I got all that I wanted. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I want to flurry this guy. Beautiful. Here we go. Nice. I was mopping through these people. <laughs> oh, the wonders of AI indeed. Alright, um, yeah, I guess we got to finish these guys. Beautifully done. I love when we can take out both guys in one shot. Alright, the problem is I need someone with security and I don't really have that. This is an electronic personal message center, though it looks like it hasn't been used in some time. There's one unread message on the system. Hey Elam, how's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you, because you might need it. Terrace isn't Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strongbox. Nobody's going to bust into that thing. Hope they hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. Uh, I can't spike it. I can't spike the system. Yeah, I need someone who has like security to take care of those. Oh, wait, can can you do it? You can't do it, right? Oh no, I need someone with demolition. Never mind. Sure. Someone with demolition. And I think the Wookie has demolition, but I don't. Alright. Ready. You can definitely open that. On it. Open. Yes. Stop, Stop right there. Or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Who are you? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? I was just exploring. I didn't know anyone was in here. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. Get fucked. Critical strike. As long as I'm healthy, it'll be all right. Can I talk to her, or is it? I speak to Karth. Yes. What's on your mind? Is this a good time to ask you some more questions? 
I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? I would just like to know you better. Oh, well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why don't you say so? This isn't an interrogation. I never said that. No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Uh, like you said when we first met, Bastila didn't have time to use her power. True. Bastila is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm a scout. I was recorded into the fleet for my skills, if you must know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. You'd rather I wasn't? Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still. Are you implying I had something to do with the crash? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party... Akira says, this guy makes me think of Caden. Well, that sh he probably Happens should. I think survive. he's... I think he's voiced by the same voice actor. <laughs> Why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, but whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. What do you mean by surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Are you always as suspicious? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Uh, Kira says, along with making the thing blow up, I remember so many goddammit Caden moments. Oh, yeah. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone. Now you'll see why. One, huh? Demolitions. Two weapon fights pretty good. You improved power blast. Alright. 
So I think she. Someone is dead. Alright, so I can go talk to Zax and get a bounty off of that, which is pretty good. Yeah, it should be uh, Raphael Sabarge. is pretty good. What? No. That's what I remember about this stupid game is this fucking bad visors. One of the many things. Okay. Alright. Let me see if I can go get Karth to be... do a little... Demolition. Ready. Okay. I don't think he can, but not that. Should be this. Got the mi I got rid of the mine at least. I can't do anything here, huh? Hmm. All right. All right. Let's head out of here and we'll keep on moving. Oh fuck you! Shields are pretty good. City apartments. There's a lot of apartments, huh? Yeah, let's go. You oh, come on. Got a hit. Cars get everything. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Um uh, Blaster turret. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I've got my security papers right here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these 
look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Rack ghouls. times aren't so aren't so bad in this kind of surprised you there Up you there. there anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll yeah this yeah. is our elevator if you use it you got to give us something i don't believe this planet even the beggars are trying to shake us down five credits that's what it costs to use our elevator five credits Who are you? What are you doing here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence. It's like they've practiced and this, practiced this monologue. Long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us. Five credits for using our elevator. You poor wretches. Here's 20 credits to buy some food and clothing. <laughs> credits, my brother. We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first yeah. impression. Uh, my name is Kwetak Vlachak. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? The surface is a beautiful place. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming. Well, he's about not completely wrong. Have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil? Who's that? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Yep. Promised Land? What's that? It's it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Where can I find Rukil? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 Whoa. years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Where can I find Gendar? He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Uh, do you, need, do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Um, have any uh, Wolders come here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Uh, I'll be going now. Oh, okay. 
Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Light side points. Light side points. Wait, upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Who are you? I am Isala, healer of this village. I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. Uh, what are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rukgur disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. There must be something someone can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the rock ghoul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rock ghouls and attack them at any moment. I'm going through those gates to try and help the infected ones. I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into rock ghouls, you'll be walking into your grave. You, you come from the world the above. The world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path. Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. What are you talking about, old man? A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Quitak Vartak, what do you want from me, Rukil? Once I was honored for my wisdom, but over time the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually there was only a single apprentice who followed me, and now she is gone too. The true path? What does that mean? No, 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 not yet. I must be wary, careful. You prove myself. How can I do that? My apprentice is. Lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. I will help you with this. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I'll be back if I find anything out. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come All right. Greetings, Upworlder. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Who are your people? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. 
as my father was and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations. Our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of dead. It sounds like a terrible life. What a horrible way to live! Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on, and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rukil. Tell me about the Rakuls. The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. I want to ask you some questions. Ask your question. Looking for a Twi'lek. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the Rakuls and the other foul creatures. i ask you some questions. Ask your questions, Upworlder. Said something about Our recently many crazy people. The surface recently, armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. As you wish, upward. All right. Thanks for nothing. from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy Chris, says, before seeing how it was spelled, I thought I he was saying rat ghouls, so I had an image My of a half rat, here. half zombie thing. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. You managed to run a store here in the Undercity. If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Uh... Oh, you... Why doesn't Gendar like you? Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the Upworlders. Why should they get anything? It's a pretty selfish attitude. Hey, you don't know what it's like down here. I have to claw and scrape to survive. Nobody else will look out for me. Gendar doesn't agree with my philosophy. He caught me hoarding supplies a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But Gendar made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. Let me see your inventory. It ain't the... Uh, let's see. Sell some bull crap. <sighs> hey, it ain't the Ooh. Ooh. I 
want that. What's up? You got it. I didn't want that sword. Hey there, upworld. Uh, it ain't the. Okay. It's five to fourteen. Upgrade um, equipment upgrade spot, which to be fair is probably not any of them. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming. He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told what up, Troy Baker? To leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar! Run! Open the gate quickly. There isn't much time. I... I can't. The Rackles are too close. The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate. And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all. No. You can't do this. It isn't fair. Please, make him open the gate. Hindar will die if he doesn't. I can't open the gate. Not while the Rackles are so near. Open the gate. I will kill the Rackles. You'd risk your life for It sounds like Trey Baker. You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. That definitely sounds like Troy Baker. for poor Hendar. I warned him not to leave the safe. Well, I tried. Village, but I couldn't open the gate. Not while the rat ghouls were so close. I had to protect huh. the village. But enough of this grim talk. We must focus on the positive if we're to survive down here. That's How so can weird. I it you, sounds Upworlder? just like him. I'm Trellin from the Outcast Village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the rat ghouls. Voiced by Cam Clark. Hmm. I just guard the gates. Goodbye, upward. Back again. Uh, let's check the map. Field gate. Bizarre.
Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Whoa, slow down, Mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Calm down, Mission. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find. Just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rack Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. Uh, do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure. But those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. If I help you get Zalbar back, you have to get me inside the Volcar base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volcar base. Now come on! We have to find Zalbar before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volcar compound. Alright. Uh, uh, you've got still field generator. Got a regular blaster pistol. Can she? Attributes. I need her dex really high. Stealth awareness, security, and um, there we go. Uh, Blaster rifles. She can't use blaster rifles. So, all right, so I want her to go blaster rifle. No, I don't want her to use that. What? Hey, what? What's up, Malfunk? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping on by the stream. You there! Civilian, this is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Nothing. Look, I've got all the proper security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. Malfunk says, well, I proved we myself that I can commute to slash from work control. on my bike and not die of exhaustion. That's awesome! Uh, you said you lost one patrol already? Was well, that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Just follow your orders. Keep looking. Hey, I never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking. Yeah, that's fantastic, you know, Malfunk. That you can do that. To mention to the commander. Come on, patrol. Let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner. All right. So you guys are off doing bullshit.
Nice. Nicely done. Serum. All right. Journal, Rockwell Serum. This could be valuable to the right people. All right, so I'm going to take that back to the main guy up top, and he can make a cure out of that. Ah, oh, that's awesome, Malfunct. That's great. Well, good for you. All right, that's sewer entrance. Explore the area. That's as fully explored as it gets, it seems. Alright. That's fine. Hey, Karth. You're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Taurus would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them. It, it's not, not a pretty, pretty picture. picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. I ain't hey, no kid. I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Geez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. Settle down right now, both of you. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. Hey there, what can I do for you? Really? You want to know yeah. about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? How did you and Zobar hook up? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the oh, gang no, wars Tell, her. tell your internet but to stop then, misbehaving. The Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. We want to pick a fight with a Wookiee. Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you core slimes, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Lucky he didn't fry you with a blaster. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. 
What did the other two Volkers do? The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush so his good news, everyone! After listens. nine and a half hours, stay up he finally got off fine. the first planet. Anyway, uh, for I knew those of you at home, Toa is trying to so is playing Knights of the Old Republic as well. Ever since then, so. we've been a team. Congratulations, Toa. Fantastic. Know. How'd Zalbar end up on Terrace? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. How'd you survive before you met Zalbar? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. Yeah, I suppose- I didn't know you had a brother. My brother's a touchy subject, you know? It just so happens- What's up, Taffy? Like Good to see you. Right Thanks Nothing for swinging personal. on by. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Yes, what's on your mind? I want to discuss something with you. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? I want to talk... Uh... We didn't finish our conversation last time. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Not built that way. That sounds like an excuse. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. I'm, well, it just won't happen again, that's all. So you want some guarantee that I won't betray you? I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. I'm beginning to wonder if you're even capable of trusting anyone. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. You sure you don't want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. What up, Eco? Good to see you. <laughs> uh, no, I have not turned to the dark side yet. I have continued along my light path. Take that, Gamorians. The dark side is for weak people. Only weak people take the dark side. Oh, 
Nicely done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can you can be dark if you want to, but it's not my cup of tea. Later, Malfunk. Thanks for stopping on by. says only weak people choose the dark side dark side is true strength you know that is uh that is your well, that's like your opinion man uh, uh, i want you to recover that mine nicely done shield leads to another section of the sewers. The entrance to the Vulcar base is somewhere past there. I've got the codes to lower the shield, but we have to rescue Zalbar from those Gamorrean slavers. Don't worry. We can come back after we find No Lucy. problem. Back to that main room. Uh, Ready. Huh? I need you to recover that mine. The mines are, even, even if I don't use them, they're, they should be worth a good chunk. So I can just, uh, so I can just sell them. Uh, yeah, sure. Reactivate. Now gonna walk around and kill things for us. Come on, droid. Right, where does this go? Why are you all the way back there? says it's Ralk Rak Al Ghul. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, yeah. you to cover mine. 
looks done. Been here before. Morning compound, force field, under city. Came in from there. This way down that path. Where does this go? Looks like it goes to nothing. Nice. All right, good, good. All right. Raccoons, motherfucking raccoons. Sniper. Nice. Yes. Let's recover that mine. What? Okay. So many corpses. Go, little droid. Uh, hey, Karth. Can I, can I talk to you for a second? Are you ready to have a civil chat? Or is this going to be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. Ugh, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm, I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through, but... How Should nice of you two. <sighs> it's about time you two made up. Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. Tara says, is it just me or does this game screen look really hazy? Work, yes. You know. uh, that is... Um, well, that's no big I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need a few words of encouragement. It's kind of like a. Kids are like it's kind of that. it's kind of Listen, rough. You... <laughs> uh, I'm running oh, this I get it. through an, uh, okay, an AV me. to HDMI converter, fun, so I can go For into my guy. Elgato, Come on, Geezer. and then it can Let's go to up to my we TV doing. and output, and it's outputting at 720. Um, so it's stretching it a little bit. So it's like not the best, but you get the idea. It's close enough. And no, it has nothing to do with Kristen's Xbox. Kristen's Xbox is perfect. Uh, Ready. What? Gotcha. Ooh. All right. So we got his bowcaster. 
So he was sure. here. Hmm. Look at this. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. Who's that with you? <laughs> These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. Good to meet you, Zalbar. Quit talking about talk. You know the language of my people? It's rare among your species. I'm impressed. It's you and Han Solo, but Han Solo isn't alive for another 10,000 years. Life dead. A life dead? You sure about that, Pixie? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. Some of the camera angles not great. This is still pretty impressive. I mean, this game is 12 years old. I think this is pretty impressive. Big Z swearing a Wookiee life dead to you? Wow. This is major. Do you realize what it means? Let me guess. It means I got a walking carpet following me for the rest of my days. Some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. <laughs> Gary says, that door is freaking out in the background. The yeah, it's life. just nuts. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. As the, as the roots of the great. I'm honored to accept his vow. Glad to have you on board, Mission. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a back door into that scum den. Good. The sooner we get there, the better. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Ranker monster isn't still there. Ranker? Are you serious? There used to be a Ranker monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much Eco says that door! Monster. That thing is huge! Luckily, Rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. That's not really an option. Let's go. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. Um, I want. I still have to take mission. And I want Karth. All right, let's see what's going on with this door. Door. Uh, that door. Alright. Uh, right. Nope, not that way. This is reflex. This is fortitude. Uh, what's my weaker one? My fortitude. Uh, 
fortitude's that. She needs the fortitude one. She's got her stealth generator though, so. says, how useful is stealth in the game? I haven't really done much with it so far. Eh. I don't remember it being that great. But that's just me. Actually. I should probably... Yeah. Let me keep going. Just because I think I have a mission down here. I need to find that apprentice, I think. But I believe, like, you can use it to, um, so I kind of get, like, the effect of a backstab. So, like, you can go stealth, you can move up, and then you get, like, the first attack, you'll get a big bonus, too. So I think it's like that. all of that. Alright, so let me go back. you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I nice. I picked them off the pocket of a black vulgar who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. Upper sewers. By you double blaster. Took out most of the ship just by itself. Um, uh, yeah. You. Sure. Yeah. Cover that mine. And tell I see what you did there. Ha ha ha. Toa says, once again, I'm amazed at how much you can customize your character look in Skyrim, followed by how much of the game is played in first person. <laughs> yeah, right? Toa says, oh, Joey, single blade, double blade, or dual wield? Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's a personal choice. Uh, I, I think last time I did this, I did a double blade. Um... Uh, I know a lot of people like to do a wield. Um, it's th it's totally a matter of preference. Uh, this game, I'm going to go with just uh, I'm going to go single blade, just because um, I kind of want like the defense bonus from it. Because that's the one downside with um, dual wield is that is that sometimes you can get kind of you can get beat up a little bit on defense.
The double blade just looks badass. It looks awesome. So I really enjoyed it when I played way back when. Like when you flurry, when you do a flurry with double blade, oh man, it's just so fucking cool. Uh, whoop, whoop. Oh, god damn it! Somehow, no one got. No one got poisoned. I don't know how. Up, 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 up. Ready. Sure. I think I went double blade in Kotor one, and I think I I think I also went double blade in Kotor two as well. That's a that's a rancor pit. Alright, I don't want to do that just yet. Toast says also I'm currently running into the problem where nobody in my party is good with computers. Uh the droid should be good at computers, uh T three should be good. If you didn't get him, then you should go back to Terrace to get him back. Uh I forget what you have to do to get him, but he's pretty good. I meant in terms of people that I bring with me. Is it worth bringing around? Uh, T3's not bad. T3's not bad. I liked him alright. Um, I liked him alright. T3's got some pretty good shit. Um, That's what sucks about Karth. It's fucking. I think it's one goddamn thing. Uh, I don't want him to do that. Let's have him take. Fuck. Okay. Uh, what am I on the map? Okay. So far, pretty good. Let me go back real quick just to check out that other area. Hello, Loki. Gotta explore everything. Because I think you have to fight the Rancor. Well, I don't think you have to, but. Probably do. Oh, okay. Never mind. We've already done all that. Let's go fight a Rancor. How many credits do I have? That's a great question. I have 329 credits. I have a bounty I have to turn in. Um, I gave some credits away. Well, fuck that, I'm fighting this Rancor. I mean, come on, man, you gotta fight the Rancor.
switch to give items. Let's give it. Where is it? Yep, synthesized odor. Oh, that's right. That's what I want to do. Corpse pile. Uh, give items. I want to give it... Uh, I want to give it a frag. And then I want to give it... Uh, synthesized odor. So it says, I had around 5,000 credits when I left planet. Would have had more if I didn't buy mines that I didn't end up using. Gotcha. Very nicely done. Hey, out of my way. Alright. Got rid of that rancor. Into that base. That base. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get through all of this stuff. If I can get through the swoop race tonight, that would be pretty good. Cover that mine. I'm going to sell it for good money. Okay. What? Hello, waitress. Please don't hurt me. I just serve the food here, that's all. I'm not like these others. I'm not even a black Volker. Please don't kill me. How'd you end up here in the Volkar base? My name is Ada. My father owed Davik some money, but he couldn't pay. Davik killed my father and sold me into slavery here at the Volker compound to pay off the debt. <sighs> don't worry, I just want to ask you a few questions. But I don't know anything. I'm just a prisoner here, a slave. The Volkers don't tell me anything. They treat me like dirt. They beat me up if I screw up their orders. You may know more than you think, miss. Help us and we'll help you, okay? Well, all right. I still don't know how much help I can be, but I sure hope you get rid of all the Volkers. I hate them. Where can I find the prototype swoop engine? What? I I've never heard of such a thing. 
I guess it might be in the garage on the lower level. That's where all the Volkers go to work on their swoop bikes. But I've never been down there. The elevator is protected by a security system. Only the Volkers are allowed to go down there. Looking for a prisoner? Woman name. Is she that Republic soldier? I heard one of the Volker mention her, but she's not here. He said Brezhik didn't trust his men around her. I guess she's too important to be a slave <laughs> here in the kitchens. Getting pawed and groped and kicked and spit on like me. Brezhik must have taken her somewhere safe. If I let you out, can you go find your way out of here? Now that you've killed the guards who were supposed to watch me, I think I could find my way out of here. Hurry then, get out of here. Uh, I'm free to go? You're not gonna kill me? I, I don't know how I can ever repay you! Thank you! Thank you! Uh, I have to get out of here before any of the Volkers see me! Blind side points! So it says, I was going through this part today. You were going through this game so much quicker than I was. Eh. We're all leaving out. Nice. Level up. Skills. I want... I also have a lot of stuff to do after this. Like I have to go turn in a bunch of quests, and that'll take some time. All right, one droid part. Blaster rifle. Thank you. 
Yeah? Yes? We're doing all right. Uh... Ready. Huh? Oh man, you're not like any of them? What are you talking about? You're a Volcar, aren't you? Back when you had honor. Now they're just a bunch of bloodthirsty punks. Now I'm stuck on guard duty. I hate Bridget so much, but I'm just leave the gang. I'm trying to work up the courage to leave, but it's not that easy. Uh, turn down. Get it. I'm gonna let you live. Go on, get out of here. Conti Chani Mulira Ashum. All right, good. I wonder where it's gonna. St I didn't. I don't think I saved, so I wonder where the auto save is. Uh, I have to do a bunch of stuff. <sighs> I have to do a bunch of stuff, but I think I'm tired. I think I'll do it tomorrow or Thursday. Yeah, I'm gonna do this Thursday. I'm tired. Alas. Alright. Alright. Uh, make sure that this all goes. Done. I know. Having a quick save button would be great. Um, it's something I always forget. I, uh, I have always forgotten during this game and old games of this like. Something I just constantly forgot, but you know, eh, it's not a big deal. So awesome. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This was a fantastic night. We, uh, we got mission. We got Zalbar. We're getting closer to getting the swoop part. Once we get that, we'll be good to go. Um, and then we can go. So like we've gone as far as we can. Um, on Terra, so then on our way back we can we can take care of all the different um all of the different um all of the different side quests that we can do. Um so yeah, so it's pretty exciting. So with that being said, I'm gonna go to bed. Which uh, will be fantastic. So uh before I go as a reminder, if you missed any previous episodes, you can go find all of them over on LunaticJedi.com. 
If you want to be informed socially about when I go live or when new episodes go up, you can go do that at facebook.com slash lunatic Jedi and twitter.com slash lunatic Jedi. And if you have any questions for me, you can use the ask me anything feature over at lunatic Jedi.tumblr.com. In addition to all of that, there is the Lunatic Jedi Podcast. You can go search for it on iTunes. Just search for Lunatic Jedi Podcast. Uh, or, in addition, you can go to our podcast website. It's lunaticjedi.simplecast.fm. Uh, episode 8 just went out. It's about the history of microprose and Firaxis with my good friend uh, Brendan. Uh, episode 7 was about Bungie Studios and so on and so forth. There's a bunch of different episodes about entertainment, life, and all sorts of random things. There's episodes about Japan. There's episodes about TV. There's episodes about being an adult. Uh, the next episode that we have coming up uh, next week will be with Arak, who is one of our moderators. Uh, she and I had a long Skype conversation about retro games, the games that we loved when we were kids and kind of the different uh, paths that we took. And uh, in addition, we'll be talking about what make like what makes uh like what retro things have come back into modern times and uh yeah so it'll be really cool so be sure to check out the podcast uh i don't know where, where everyone would tell i mean let me see are they even in here i mean they're in here so i don't know they just didn't talk um uh, all right with that being said i'm going to bed everybody have a fantastic night i am off tomorrow because i have to go to the airport and but I'll be back on Thursday Thursday with more Knights of the Old Republic and then I will not be streaming until next Monday after that so Thursday is the night so I'll chug an energy drink and we'll go 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 alright with that being said everybody have a great night and I'll talk to you all later have a good one